So now with Rome behind us, the seeds are locked for the French Open, and it's looking very interesting to see the top 32 seeds going in to the French Open. Of course, being seeded means that you avoid playing another seed in the early rounds. Let's go have a look at who's seeded for the ladies, and also the dangerous unseeded players as well for the men and the ladies. So here are the top 32 seeds for the ladies. You can see there, of course, the top four seeds being Sviantek, Sabalenka, Goff, and Rabakina in that order. Of course, they won't play until the semifinals, but it will be interesting to see whether it's Sviantek, Rabakina in the semi, or Sviantek, Goff, or Sabalenka Goff or Sabalenka Rabakina, so that could be interesting. A couple of players that are under an injury cloud, of course, Pagula hasn't played at all in the clay season, so she might actually pull out, which does change the seeds over the next couple of days. And also Krajikova might pull out, which means that it will free up a couple of spots for some players that are not seeded. But then there's some dangerous players that are low seeds, which could collide with some of the top seeds early. Of course, Ostapenko, very dangerous always on every surface. She's at number 10. We've got Collins at number 12. Very, very dangerous. Of course, she's only lost to Sabalenka in recent times. Madison Keys has also been in really good form on the clay, so definitely watch out for her as well as a lower seed. Kostruk, of course, made the final of Stuttgart, so you got to watch out for her as well. Kalen Sky, another one, very dangerous and can beat the top players in the world and also can play on clay. And also keep an eye out for Fernandez as well. Very capable on the clay. Hasn't got the results this year to kind of back it up yet, but man, she is very dangerous on clay and nobody wants to play her early on in a tournament like this. Look at the players that are unseeded for the WTA that are really, really tough in my opinion. Yeah, Putin Seva, not going to be seated at this event at this stage. It could change in a couple of days, of course, with withdrawals, but she's 37 in the world. Has been really, really good lately. Andreva, she's 56 in the world. She won't be seated at the French Open unless 20 people pull out, which is very unlikely. So she's going to be a dangerous opponent for someone in the first round, potentially. Naomi Osaka seemed to have found her feet on the clay over the last couple of months, so she's going to be dangerous. Nobody wants to play her early in the tournament. Palabedosa as well. If she stays healthy, very, very dangerous player in a first round or a second round for one of the top seeds, potentially. So those four players are very, very dangerous, in my opinion, when it comes to the seed and who they might have to play in a first round. So here are the top 32 seeds for the men. And you can see there the top four seeds as of now. Djokovic, Sinner, Elkra, Zverev. Of course, Zverev winning in Rome helps his case get to that number four spot overtaking Medvedev. And of course, Sinner and Elkra, you know, they are injured at the moment. But there seems to be some good signs coming out of their camps that they will be fine for the French. But at the moment, I mean, I'm still got them under an injury cloud. But then you've got some lower ranked players that are outside that top four that are very dangerous. Rublev, of course, the Madrid champion. You've got Rude, who won Barcelona. You've got Sidney Pass, who won Monaco. Monte Carlo, if your Fritz been in good form this year, and also Bruna over the French Open the last few years. Jarry, of course, very, very dangerous as number 16 seed. And then the lower ranked players, players like Baez, who has been, has been very good on the clay this year, not just in Europe, but also South America. Tabillo, of course, beating Djokovic last week, very dangerous as number 24 seed. Oje Aliasim at 21, made the Madrid final, definitely a threat. And also Navone, down there at number 29, was very good on the South American clay and has been very good as well at times on the European clay. Very dangerous for those top ranked players, but man, it's going to be interesting to see because we do have some injury concerns for those top guys, so this could change if we do get some withdrawals. Look at the players that are unseeded that are dangerous for those seeds early in the tournament. Struff, he's number 37 in the world. He is unseeded at this stage, of course. Withdrawals could change that, but nobody wants to play him early. He's been so good over the last couple of months on clay. Vilch, he comes in at number 58. Of course, very dangerous last year. Beat Medvedev in the first round and has been very good this clay court season as well, so again, very dangerous to play him early in the tournament. Another Brazilian, Montero, number 85 in the world, has had some big wins on the clay this season, so nobody wants to play him early in the tournament. And of course, the obvious one, Rafa Nadal. Nobody wants to see Rafa in their draw, despite him not being as good this year as previous clay court season. It's still Rafa Nadal. It's still the French Open. He's 276 in the world, but it's the king of clay, and nobody wants to play the king at Roland Garros. So there it is. They are the seeds locked in for the French Open. Of course, the draw comes out on Thursday, so make sure you're there for that one so we can see how this all plays out, and we'll go through it all again. Again, but uh, man, there are some really scary unseeded players that are in form. You know, Struff, he's been so good on the clay, yet hasn't been seeded. So uh, that could be a first round match with someone in the top four. I mean, Medvedev, Struff in the first round, that could be really sketchy for someone like Amedi, who hasn't been as good on the clay this year as he was with the, you know, clay Vedev memes last year. But there it is. Let me know down the comments below. Who's going to win the French Open? I mean, Djokovic, maybe on the men's side. He hasn't done anything, though, to make me feel confident with that. But he's got to win something eventually, right? On the women's side, I think Sviantek's the obvious pick. Uh, maybe Sabalenka and Rebecca and Goff. They're just behind, but I think Triantec on clay, obvious pick. But let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win the French Open? And they're the seeds. Locked in. Draw comes out Thursday.